the whole idea of really being truly invisible is a disconnect between you as the user and your first connection to the internet. If you use Bitcoin, there is a blockchain and the blockchain is really traceable. In fact, during the trial of uh, Ross Ulbricht, the guy that was accused of um, running the drug uh, emporium Silk Road, they were able to trace millions of dollars of transactions to the wallet on his computer. So to try to anonymize Bitcoin, you can go to a Bitcoin ATM, right? You could buy it from person to person on the street, which is probably the safest way if you're using uh, a phone that's not really registered to you, to you, like a burner device. Or you could use services that launder Bitcoin. So you could buy Bitcoin, like for example, with a prepaid card, like uh, you can go to like any of the pharmacies by prepaid uh, gift cards. You could go to certain sites and actually convert that to Bitcoin for a large fee. And then you could go take that Bitcoin and launder it even further through what they have laundering sites. So you basically send Bitcoin to them and, they, and they'll mix it up with other people's Bitcoins and eventually send you Bitcoin back with a small fee uh, that's deducted from the, uh, from the transaction. And then when you have this clean Bitcoin, you could use it, for example, to top up data cards or to purchase email accounts that, you know, where you have to sign up for a subscription to make it really hard to trace you as the anonymous user behind it.